pick up any management textbook, and you're likely to find the concept of groupthink attributed to social psychologist Irving Janis. Janis developed the concept in the early 1970s by studying US foreign policy failures such as not anticipating Japan's attack on Pearl Harbor and the escalation of the Vietnam War. He found in these cases a tendency for individuals to suppress opinions that challenged the group's view. Janis defined groupthink as a collective desire for consensus that overrides the realistic appraisal of alternatives and leads to poor decision-making. Janis warned managers to look out for groupthink symptoms and to treat them by applying simple remedies. But Irving Janis is not the originator of the term groupthink. Twenty years earlier, an article titled Groupthink appeared in Fortune magazine, written by social critic William H. White. Groupthink was White's diagnosis of the malaise affecting management thinking in 1950s America. He was dismayed that groups had become a tyranny that crushed individuality. In his best-selling book, The Organization Man, published in 1956, White extended his concept of groupthink and gave it a new name, the social ethic. So why is Janice, rather than White, credited as the founder of groupthink in today's management textbooks? And why do they prefer Janice's conception to White's original view? Our article explores this and outlines how recovering White's ideas can inspire us to think differently about management today. For fresh perspectives on other well-known theories of management, go to our YouTube channel, A New History of Management.